Welcome everybody to another live tool. I am Josh. And I'm still Tyler. As always. And uh, we are playing pure variants. Yes. As per our, all our live tools, I'm playing Liralisk pure. Nothing but Liralisk in the extra deck. And you're playing... Nothing but little bird ladies. And I'm playing... Little live virtual bird. ladies. Little virtual <laughs> ladies. So it's a lady versus lady matchup. Yes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going first. So this is phenomenal for me. I can go get full board, going to activate the bird call, which is one of the best cards in the entire archetype, allowing me to special summon the, uh, I forget its name, Wagtail, I believe. I think it's Wagtail. Uh, to search a card and then it's going to just do a whole bunch of shenanigans. There's going to be a lot of dancing. This deck, both of these decks are very slippery. Yes. Very, very slippery. They dance, they move around, you put XCs into other XCs. Mm -hmm. I have to hit the right things at the right time, otherwise you can get a full board and then the board's gone mm. and then the board's back. Yeah, timing is very key here. Um, especially because like when Cobalt Sparrow is summoned, uh, special summoned, it will search a, a monster. Wagtail will search a spell or trap. Um, Recital Starling will search me another monster to keep players going. Assembled Nightingale is already on the field, so my monsters can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. And I take no damage on some blue Robin uh, coming out there. That is now four special summon bounces, non once per turn. Have fun. How do you play through that? Look, I don't, Dark Ruler no more, I guess. That, honestly. But then what? <laughs> then I get a full board and you can't destroy my card effects? No, no, Dark Ruler no more means I can't activate anything in, in, in response to it. True. My, my effects would be negated, oh, essentially. True, true, true. Yeah. So I just have to run Dark Ruler no more in every deck I own to Play deal set. with this one thing. In all 12 decks you have. Tw I mean, 12 tournament level yeah. decks. <laughs> Not so. to mention the <laughs> Constellas and the Satellas <laughs> of the world. But I open up Sunny Snitch, but I still, in my head, I'm like, how do I play around this? Um, I special summon a lot. The only deck that could play around this is mm. Fluindaries. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, the because one deck. I Maybe Monarchs? To, I wouldn't be able to bounce anything. Yeah, Monarchs as well. Um, go ahead and activate the XCs block um, because you are triggering. I'm going to detach one so you do not get the effect and it is destroyed. So interesting tech card, basic for all XCs decks. Yeah. And uh, you've got no link on board. No, and I'm just looking to set two and pass because ain't got much else because you stopped my normal summon. Yeah, I've, I've really done a decent job at, at learning where the choke points are with live twin yeah um yeah. they still can't they're still very very deadly we saw that in the mm. tournament mm. uh but Liralisk are proving right now to be very very good at, at being able to set up their own board but not requiring too much to uh to kind of stop you in your tracks exactly i'm the compulse the compulse so that's the one out to Liralisk is bounces because yeah it's not destroying by battle or card effect yeah. just bounce something it's just bouncing um, and I'm so glad Liralisk weren't in the tournament. I say this a bunch. You had a last minute decision to not put Liralisk in for some reason put, yeah. and put in Unchained. Unchained. Who have now been sold. We'll talk about that at a later date. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, it's gone up in the podcast. It should be up around this time. So if you want to hear about that. But I'm looking in a rough spot here. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've still got uh, Assembled uh, on the field. Yeah. But you did activate the warning point so I couldn't XC someone into Ensemble. Yeah. So I'm relying on my back row to stop your next play and because if you if you can't stop this i'm just going to grind and grind and grind and your mm -hmm. deck can grind but so here's the trigger solemn uh, strike so xc's block and a solemn strike uh, on the exact same trigger two turns in a row i don't think there's a way you can play around that without certain cards in your hand no there isn't um and honestly there's no way i can play around with that with live twin if you stop my first normal summon that's me dead in the water and mm -hmm. again i just have to pass yep Okay, and now I can start using them again. I'm going to go into Promenade Thrush for the hell of it. Going to bounce the one that costs makes is going to make me take life points. But back oh, into you the only deck. take life points if I've got a link. Honestly, it was a flex. The whole re Promenade. You know, thrush, I get to activate it again to get another search. Look, Promenade Thrush ain't, ain't good. <laughs> I only really ever use it to flex. That's fair. <laughs> So I've already got uh, three XCs on board. Uh, it has to be the Ensemble Robin because I don't have a third, or a, even a second recital styling due to the ban list. But now it's back up to four bounces. So I can, even without a Solemn Strike and whatnot, I can still bounce. Going to head and swing. You've got 44. I can't close very well That's with Lyralist. That's the Liralis, issue with Lyralist because they can't close. And like, again, you still don't have me at lethal mm. after like three sets of attacks. Yeah. Um, because the two with the same rank on the field, yeah. it gets slower, slower. So that's actually a misplay. You had the Raigeki, but it's misplay because it requires two of the same level specifically. I read the card. Those are ranks. 
You, that's technically a normal summon, but we treat it as a special summon. Mm. Misplay, but you go ahead and normal summon one of the virtual girls. True, they are technically right. Torrential Tribute. Now, because I've activated Simple Nightingale's effect, mine are fine. Yours are fine. And I can't even use that right kicking in my hand. You have not been able to play. I have not been able to play. Go ahead and activate the Green, wing, wing, uh, wing required right. pot of greed. Because you draw um, a card, I get to draw a card. You get to draw a card. Uh, but I... <laughs> I have not been able to play this game at all. No. And uh, very rarely do Live Twin get stopped like this. Yeah. Yeah, that this is actually a very rare occurrence. I'm going to activate the Monster Reborn. I'm really just trying to close out game here. Um, you can definitely do OTKs with Lyralisk. It just requires a certain board. It's a lot easier when you've got multiple recital, recital starlings. But with that at one, I've had to change it to full control. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I still get really good uh, play out of it. Act, uh, activate the Promenade Thrush to flex to send the other one back into the deck just to make sure you've got nothing on board. Activate the Wagtail to attach it to Ensemble Robin. You're at 1,900. You'll take another 200. You'll take another 500. Boy, I can't close. You can't close. And like, that's pretty much game at this point because I have no yeah. way, no way to play. I probably right? could have closed if I put Ensemble Robin under Assembled Nightingale. Uh, but uh, you force out the Assembled Nightingale there. But there was something you screwed up. What was that? You had the slower swallow effect. You forgot to use it. I did. You drew an effect veiler. Yes. Yes. And that could have turned the whole... That would have flipped the whole yeah. thing on its head. So this is why I always keep broke track of heart. your cards, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, broke my heart. Yeah. Because when you, when you misplay like that, it costs you the game. It cost me the game. Because again, we don't run many hand traps. I run the single effect veiler, which mm -hmm. would have negated yours and your board would have been cleared yes i could have gone off absolutely so always keep track of the cards in your hand in the banish wherever because something could save you in the long run yeah 100 percent. it was the misplay of the swallow swallow which didn't end up mattering in the end but it could have completely flipped the game in its head yeah it absolutely because once live twin get going like they're about to now because i can't uh, in interact with you when you're going first mm -hmm. i don't run hand traps so uh this is where they get scary. This is where they get super, super slippery. They're all oiled up and they're hard to get rid of. 100%. Like Hakan from Street Fighter 4. They are oiled up with six wives <laughs> ready to go. Um, but, I've, you know, I've got Thousand Sunny. I've got uh, Sunny Snitch. I've got four. Oh, four. And you're angry. Back, yeah, I'm pointing my hand like... Brother. Dinomorphia. What is it's going on? It's just like playing against Dinomorphia. <laughs> I have four set and I'm feeling confident. Activate uh, to special summon two. I'm waiting for something to come out. Because right now we're taking life points. Well, I'm taking life points and you're on each one. gaining life points. Activate the uh, wing requital. Are you going to chain anything? I'm going to... Because oh, <laughs> it is a pot of greed. Yeah, it is a pot of greed. If you can negate it, negate it. But it uh, looks like... I doubt there's anything you do. I don't believe you I run judgments think. in this deck. So, I uh, run a singular judgment, I believe. It's judgment of two strikes. Okay. No, yep. judgment of strike and a warning. Yep. So I'll go ahead and draw two. I can still XCs. No warning point. No, anything has come out. Do open the twin twisters, discarding the XCs block, getting rid of an MST. MST. No, it looks like uh, you're going to activate the compulse first. Yeah. So uh, yeah, they will go. Not the best cards to hit, in all honesty. Yeah, I, I was happy with what, I, mm. what you hit in the end. Activate the one for one, discard turquoise warbler, a special summon from deck. It looks like that will go through. Go ahead and do the wagtail. Still taking damage. You're going to solemn strike the wagtail effect. Yep. So I do not get a search. I've only got one monster on board. Activate the monster reborn. And then your I completely forgot about Trouble Sunny yep. being on my the field. Dropped. Pop that, get a draw. Oh my god. You've you've done so well. I've gone through so much. Yeah. And this is what it, you're just giving me payback. Yeah, this is pretty much payback from you. And then you pass turn. Yeah. And like, like, I can't do lethal from 7k because that'd be wild, but I can get you damn close. Yo, you can get me close. Um, it's it's not passing turn yet. I did that activate the monster reborn. So bring back the warbler. Normal summon, because I have not normal summoned. No, kind of wild you didn't yeah. summon. Going to get into the recital styling and use solemn strike. The fucking recital styling. I'm done. Everything I you can. You don't get to play <laughs> because Karma is a fucking bitch. So uh, now you get to go off. Now I get to activate the field spell. Uh, well, the field spell goes off recycling. And I don't know what I'm doing at this you're, point. You're trying to calculate if you can kill me this turn. And I can't. Unfortunately, I yep. cannot. I think lethal uh, is 4,800 I can make. 
but it's look, pretty good. It's it, pretty look, good. it ain't bad. And like Remember, I said, these, these are pure. There's no access code talker or anything. Yeah, yeah. It's pure. like what is the pure live twin lethal I can get yep. to. Um, very happy with that. Attack you for a big chunk. So I've got you at lethal now. Yep. And you've still got an interruption. Yes, but so, I don't uh, have enough. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and, and scoop. scoop. That was just because that used all my hand. I pot greed everything. Pure control versus pure control. And now yep. you are going, going first. first. So we both want to go first in these matchups. So I'm definitely the favorite in game three. The winner here takes the set. Uh, but I'm feeling uh, very, very good. And I'm feeling some type of way. And, not, and that ain't great. <laughs> Activate the one for one, which is phenomenal. Because Such it, a good starter. It guarantees me the monster effect because they two of them only go off if they're special summoned. So I search the bird call. Very good opener. Activate the bird call. Now you do have an effect Vela, so it can hit me at the at the wrong time for me. So I've got to make sure that I'm bringing out as much as I can. Um, already three monsters on board and I've had a yeah. search. Yeah. Activate the barrel canary to special summon. Uh, well, search, sorry, the barrel canary with cobalt sparrow. Going to go ahead, what, what would it be? Uh, recital Starling? Recital Starling, probably, just for protection. Recital Starling. No, 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 Recital Starling gives me the search. Oh, it's the search. Yes, sorry. It's yep. the, uh, whatever one gives you the protection. Uh, Assembled Nightingale. Assembled Nightingale. My most hated card. One yeah. of my most hated cards. <laughs> yeah. That mixed with Ensemble Robin. It's wild. Is the, uh, the duo Absolutely that you wild. hate. Ensemble Robin Speaking is the bounce devil. that comes out. So uh, I've got two bounces currently. Activate the Wing Required Tool to draw two more. This deck is so damn consistent. Yeah, um, I've got another two on board. I'm going to go ahead and this will be Assembled Nightingale. I've got my board ready the to trifecta, go. The Triangle of Power. Yeah, the wonky triangle. Yeah. The, uh, the acute triangle. The acute triangle. And then it's just the fucking lane of power. Yep. It's the escalator <laughs> of power. Set one and I have four interruptions. So let's see how you point, do. At this point, I'm nervous. So I swallow you know, we didn't realize at the time. We know now it's only, sure? I, I believe, I'm 99% sure okay. it's only levels. Gotcha. We can't count them as levels? Uh, no, we cannot. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Very fair. Um, I, I go to the Sunday Central to give me a search. But again, at this point, I still don't know the, the route to dodge uh, your bounces. Yeah. I mean, you, you kind of, <sighs> bounces, yeah, without the effect of Ayla, you, but even then, like if you effect veil of the bounces, you've still got to worry about a symbol nightingale. Exactly. Um, and then it's you've got to go summon. through a whole thing of getting trouble sunny in the graveyard just to send something. Yeah, it's it's a lot. Like I have a, an out to sending, but you yep. bounce that, which I just special summon it back. Mm. You bounce it again. Yep. And then uh, we realize it is a hard once per turn on certain effects, which you did not read. Um, I remember we were going through, uh, tr uh, not trouble seeing live twin card effects. You're like, these aren't once per turn. I'm like, no brother, they are. You're like, no, no read it. And it was the second line of text. No, I just, I hate <laughs> where I, um, I'll go about this later, but I just, the way the card effects are written is not consistent and it pisses me no, off. It, it's not at it's all. It's literally when I pass you the card and I think you get angry at me. Yeah. I'm like, it's the second line of text. <laughs> This can only be used once per turn. Consistency is not is not a thing in Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> except for in modern decks. Yes. Consistency in card text does not exist. Yeah, yeah. And then I pass turn. Uh, yeah, because I bouncing and, and stopping the right cards when required. That's come up every single duel. Yeah, again, you're cheating. I'm I not, mean, you do run, I run three. I run three of them. Yeah, yeah. So you'd hope so. Uh, but I'm looking really, really hot right now. It would be a recital song, but I cannot. It would probably be Promenade Thrush to flex. Yes, Thrush. it is. Got to flex, got to flex. So you now only got one wee little virtual girl on one the field. One wee little one. Um, go ahead and activate the bird call. I'm just going into all of my combos, despite yeah. the fact I've already got my combo pieces on board. It's just, I can't go for lethal unless I really want to feed assembled Nightingale, which yeah. is, is risky because I want to keep the bounces on, on some blue Robin. Um, but otherwise I'm just going to be kind of bink, bink, bink. Yeah. Until, it's, it's death yeah. by a thousand jabs. Yeah. That's, that's, what it really is. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to activate uh, Sanctuary to give Ensemble, uh, Assembled Nightingale with some more um, attacks because two bounces is still pretty good for two Ensemble Robin. So going to go ahead, I do have to pay um, life points. Pay life points. Um, she's going to go ahead and do a little bit of damage, take you down to 43 because she can attack X amount of times with X amount of attack. Um, Promenade Thrush will attack for uh, 700 because she gets next to 200 from uh, Beryl Canary as material. 
But that's it. You're still at 38. Yeah. Um, it feels like Skystroke in a way where you can continue playing. Yeah. And that's, it's again, it's a, you're in a grind game mm. um, against Live Twin. Hit the XE's block. That's a good card to hit. Yeah. But it's still, I'm up against, I got my back against the wall because mm. you've still got two bounces. Yeah. Um, and it, again, you've got protection, so I couldn't Geki you. Yeah, and, and still two mystery back row. Mystery um, back row. But you keep checking. Yeah. And, and the second the XC's block. There is no way you play through that. Are you going to give me a handshake, young man? Uh, is the handshake coming? Yes, there it is. is. That is the set. That's the set. Lyralisk are so damn strong going first. I'm glad they weren't in the tournament. <laughs> We hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys want to see any more live duels, deck builds, podcast episodes, tournament videos, or anything that you guys may want to see, let us know in the comments below. Please make sure to leave a like. Please subscribe. Tell us what you guys want to see. We love hearing from you guys. 100% every comment matters. We read every comment on the channel. On, on any video. Old, new, old, new, new, old, old, new. We read every comment. Um, Even if we don't respond to it, I give it a heart. 100%. Read everything. 100%. We read all of it, whether we respond or not. Um, if you can tell your friends about us, if you know people that like Yu-Gi-Oh, please recommend it. This started out as a passion project, like a hobby, and it's, we're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, so, so that's about it from, from us at The Misplays. So we hope to see you guys in the comments, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.